you got any specials? It's on the board. I'm sorry, mate, I can't quite make them out. One for you, racket. Gum, gum. Right. Have a look. Good. Do you know you've been driving illegally, sir? Very handsome. Right. I'll have the 5 OUP. I'll follow that with the F1S. Think. Can you read a number plate at 20 metres? The man I shot was Red John. He killed my wife and daughter. I've been looking for him ever since. Looking for personal vengeance. How did you know it was him? He told me he was. And you believed him? He was Red John. Looks like you killed an innocent man. You killed a man in front of 500 witnesses. I did what I had to do, and I will live with the consequences. You tell him bust a pack of lies, or you went crazy. Yeah, yeah. But I believe you. You trust me. I'm not sure, Jerry. He knew things that only Red John would Have you reached a unanimous murder? We're going to take Jane out of this mess. Jane did not go crazy. Look me in the eye and tell me that. I have the right to kill the man that killed my family. Red John's dead. If he was Red John. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. I had no choice. The season premiere of The Mentalist. Thursday, 10th of November, on Channel 5. In a couple of minutes on Channel 5, another chance to see last night's action from the Big Brother house. Right now, it's time to pop to the 5 News studio for a quick update of the latest headlines and weather this Thursday lunchtime. Hello, this is 5 News, I'm Gemma Morris. Greece has been warned it won't get any emergency cash until it decides whether to stay in the euro. As crucial talks take place in Cannes, President Obama backed Nicolas Sarkozy over his handling of the eurozone crisis. They criticised the Greek Prime Minister for holding a referendum on the 100 billion euro rescue plan. Millions of public sector workers will find out if a strike at the end of this month will go ahead. Unison will announce results of a ballot after urging its members to back the walkout. Unions have rejected a new deal on pensions from the government. A British man who allegedly faked his own death has appeared in a court in Sydney. Ecuadorian-born Hugo Jose Sanchez is accused of going on the run for six years with a £1 million life insurance payoff. At least a 1,000 people die needlessly of lung cancer in Britain every year because they're not offered surgery. A new study says that although almost a third of patients are eligible for an op, just under a fifth actually have one. It says surgery is helping survival rates rise all the time. Tens of thousands of the country's poorest householders are living in streets filled with demolished and boarded up houses. According to a new report from MPs, the financial crisis of 2008 has left projects across the country frozen. Mike McCarthy reports. She's as proud of her place as any homeowner, or at least she used to be. Because this is Rosgrove's community today. One of the most deprived in Britain, much of it with little chance in the near future of any regeneration. It's that downtrodden feeling, you know, how do you get away from it when your own government have just pulled funding and you signed up to a programme and then you're left abandoned? What, what do you say to that? I mean, yeah, I am on antidepressants. Yeah, it is hard getting up every day because you walk around a street that looks like this what future has our kids got? Many people here have been left stranded in half-abandoned streets. The government has withdrawn funding for what it claims was a failed Labour initiative. It's all left people like Roz sharing her neighbourhood with properties like this. This is what should have happened in Anfield. The regeneration of Hume in Manchester came before policy changed. Postman Kevin Callaghan says it transformed the lives of many locals. Many, many years ago, we had some a lot of run-down flats, um, and there was, you know, there was all sorts going on in those flats. And now that the flats are all um, gone, demolished, and there's new buildings gone up, it's it's much better in Hume now. 
While global economic issues dominate the headlines, the realities of austerity here in Anfield are on the doorstep. What really interests the people who lived here is not so much who's resigned from one corporation to join another or what the small percentage change may be to a financial indicator on any given day, it's what's going to become of their community. What happens to the place that they once called home? Mike McCarthy, Five News, Liverpool. And finally, the name is Bond, James Bond, and the great British super agent will be back. Details of the 23rd film have just been announced. It's called Skyfall and will feature Daniel Craig as 007 for the third time. Berenice Marlowe and Naomi Harris will play the Bond girls. That's it from me, Sean's got the weather next. Matt's here at five. Bye-bye. Brighten up your day with Arm & Hammer Toothpaste, sponsors of Channel 5 Weather. Hi there. Well, we've got another unseasonably mild day today. However, it's the heavy showers and persistent rain we're most concerned about. Now, there will be some sunny spells in between, but some of these showers will be torrential with a risk of large hail, thunder and very gusty winds. Northern Ireland, Wales and central southern England look to be most at risk with also a chance of some local flooding. Now, by this evening, the heavy showers will have pushed further north. If you are caught in a shower, do take extra care on the road. It could lead to fairly poor visibility during rush hour. Tomorrow morning, there will be more persistent rain across England and Wales with central southern England and the west country most at risk of some very heavy downpours, uh, hail and thunder at times and with a lot of water on the road this could lead to some disruption with travel early tomorrow morning. Brighten up your day with Arm & Hammer Toothpaste, sponsors of Channel 5 Weather. East Africa is in crisis. War, failing harvests and the worst drought in 50 years means over 2 million children are at risk. Risk of disease and risk of death. In just one refugee camp in Kenya, there are nearly half a million people in urgent need of food, water and basic health care. The situation throughout the region is becoming more and more critical. The threat of starvation is very real. By giving £5, you could provide desperately needed food to the most malnourished children. UNICEF's experienced teams are already on the ground, ensuring life-saving aid is getting through. But we urgently need your help to reach every child who needs us. To help East Africa's children now, please text FOOD to 7007 to donate £5. I promise your donation will make a real difference. Thank you. Pencil pushers, box tickers. Basically looking for trip hazards. Jobs worths. Uh, this man's gonna get a ticket. You're gonna love them. I'm really excited. <laughs> From pest control. You need to be a little bit strange to do this job. To night patrol. Being in the street is not permitted. From highway inspections. Uh, I have to make sure I do my job correct or else hits a state will go down. Two safety corrections. The explosion would be a mountain. Meet the unsung heroes who keep London ticking over. London, the inside story, 8 o'clock Tuesday on Channel 5. Now this Thursday afternoon on Channel 5, here's a quick recipe from the Real Food Family Cook-Off. Cook-off brought to you by Tesco. Real Food Family Cook-off is on the hunt for the best family of cooks in the country. Real people who love creating amazing home-cooked dishes. We've challenged our contestants to come up with recipes from eight mood food categories that reflect the way that we cook and eat each day. So here's one of the meet our meals they created. Here's how to make my puri puri chicken with skinny chips and salad. The first stage is to get the chips ready and in the oven. That's really crucial to get these chips right. Puri puri chicken, what makes it a me time meal? 
Um, well, because I've got two young boys, two under threes at home, can't really cook with a lot of spice when we have family meals. So this is an opportunity when I really turn up the heat and I can have um, Piri's Piri sauce, some nice chunky chips, some nice grilled chicken. So it's, um, it's really quick, it's tasty, it's, it's nice and spicy. Give those chips a really good blast on the hob to get them crispy on the outside and then pop them in the oven. There's nothing worse than a soggy chip. So now you're making your piri piri sauce. Yeah. Just be careful it doesn't burn. Juicy animal. Chop onions and the pepper, chilies, as many as you can handle, some oregano, some smoked paprika, and the juice of a lemon. That all goes into the pan with a small amount of oil. I've got your two cloves of garlic. Can I put six in the pan? Okay. Yeah. Oh, six or eight? Six, is it? Is it eight? Uh, probably eight, eight cloves, yeah. Okay. This is great, Mum. This smells good. Yeah, I won't, don't worry. This looks great. To prepare the chicken, put it between two pieces of cling film, give it a really good bash with a little mallet, and then you want to rub that with olive oil, garlic, and some lime juice as well, and then you just whack that on a really hot griddle pan. Each side, nice dark lines down the chicken, done. So there we have it, poo poo chicken with skinny chips and side salad, my perfect me time meal. So what do our tasting panel of busy professionals think? What do we think, chicken? Nicely done. Good curry sauce, nice kick, nice chilli flavour to it, which is what you want if you have the peri-peri chicken. It works very well together. Slightly concerned with the peri-peri spice, but that's very, very nice. And you can find out which family are the best home cooks in Britain and get inspired by some great recipes on Real Food Family Cook-Off. Real Food Family Cook-Off, brought to you by Tesco.